Hey guys, this is Leah with Scott Leroy Marketing, and in today's tip video, I'm going to show you a really cool tip that I just found on how to automatically send an email from your inbox uh, that you maybe you've been corresponding with the client back and forth, and you can simply just forward that email to your DocuSign account to save the email correspondence as a PDF in your DocuSign room. Okay, so it's really great for keeping track of everything, centralizing everything, um, you know, all correspondence between you and the client in your email, centralize that into your DocuSign room. Okay, so it's pretty quick and easy on how to do that. So first things first, I am in my DocuSign account here. And the first thing we need to do is find out what our DocuSign email address is. Okay, so to do that, go ahead and click on, it'll either be your headshot on the top right of your DocuSign account or I think an outline of a person on the top right. Go ahead and click on there and let's go ahead and select settings from that drop down. And if you're, if you're still working on getting logged into DocuSign, no worries, feel free to pause the video until you get logged in. And then we'll go ahead again and select our headshot on the top right and settings from that drop down. So on the left hand side menu here, we're going to go ahead and select inbox details. So go ahead and click on inbox details on the left in blue and you'll see your inbound email for DocuSign. Okay, now off default, this was something like my name with a lot, a lot of crazy numbers. Um, you can update this, so you can change it. I updated that to my first name dot last name at mail.docusign.net. Okay, so it would make it something a little easier to remember. All right, and I would really suggest adding that to your address book in your email. Okay, so you can change it here and click save. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is go on over to the DocuSign room that I'd like to add the uh, email correspondence to. All right, so I'll go ahead and select Rooms on the very top of my screen. And then go ahead and click on the room that I'd like to add it to. All right, so once I'm in the room here, I'll wanna come on over to the document section here. Now in order to do this, I have my DocuSign account open in one tab on my browser and my email inbox open in the other, okay? So I navigate on over to my email inbox here and I'm going to find the email that I'd like to send over to my DocuSign account as a PDF, okay? So let's just say this is the email with me and my client here, of course, because they said that I'm the best real estate agent ever. So of course, this is something I would like to save um, in my DocuSign room. Uh, but you know, in, in all seriousness, generally you wanna save these e email correspondence so that you know you can come back and see if they indicated any terms in the emails, okay, if there's any, litigation or anything that arises from the transaction, you can always refer back to the email chain to have everything centralized in DocuSign. Okay, so that's the idea of this. So what we'll wanna do is forward this email. Okay, so you can forward the email train, chain rather. Okay, so you'll do that in uh, Gmail by clicking on the dots on the top right corner and click forward. Okay, so we'll forward this email. All right, I can scroll down to make sure the whole chain is here. And we actually need to edit the subject. All right, so that is what controls which DocuSign room this goes into. So in Gmail to do that, I'll go ahead and click on this arrow to the left of the to field here and click edit subject. Okay, so we'll wanna go ahead and paste in that DocuSign email address that we just set up. Right, so that's that DocuSign email address that we just found in our DocuSign settings. That's where we're sending that to. Okay, so if you need to pause the video and go back on over to find what that is. Okay, so now I'm going back on over to DocuSign. So I'm just switching tabs here on the top of my browser. Now if you need to grab your email address very quickly, you can always go to the inbox right here. Okay, so if you see where my mouse is, you can click on inbox and you'll see what your DocuSign email address is like on the top left, I believe. So you can reference that real quick. All right, so once you have that, we need to do two things. So first of all, we need to grab this ID number. So this ID number here is the ID number for this DocuSign room specifically. So you'll wanna go ahead and copy that, including the hashtag in front of it, All right, The pound sign or hashtag here, go ahead and copy that entire 
that entire ID, sorry. And we're going to go ahead and switch tabs back to our email. I'm just switching tabs here, so I'm going back to my email. And instead of the subject that's here, we need to add two things. So the trick here is adding hashtag PDF and then a hashtag <clears throat> that ID number. Okay. This has to be done in order for that to come over to your DocuSign room as a PDF. Okay. And that's going to turn this whole email chain into a PDF. So again, hashtag PDF and hashtag that room ID. And then we'll click send. Okay, so we sent that over. So again, all we're doing here is we're forwarding that email chain that you want to keep in your DocuSign room, and we're just changing the subject line, hashtag PDF, and hashtag that room ID. So let's switch back over to our DocuSign account. Again, that's just a separate tab on the top of my screen here. And that, that chain won't just pop up, okay? It won't just appear here. You will need to refresh the page in order for that to pop up. If you're not familiar with how to refresh your page, you can do that by clicking on the arrow in a circle on the very top right of your browser typically. Okay, that's typically next to the back button, the top left of your browser. So you wanna click refresh. And when I was trying this earlier, it took about a minute for that to come through. Um, it did take a little longer than uh, normal emails coming into DocuSign, okay, since it's converting your email to a PDF. And so you might need to refresh a couple times, and that's totally normal. Okay, so we'll just click reload on the top left. All right, and there it is. All right, so I now see a PDF here of my email correspondence. So if I click on that in my DocuSign room, I now see that entire email chain will be saved as a PDF here. Okay. So you can have that in case of backup, right? You're always supposed to keep records for, I believe, about seven years. All right, so that will be your backup of that email correspondence. All right, saved in one location. If you have any questions on this, please feel free to let us know. You can email support at scottlavoymarketing.com. We'd be more than happy to help you through any of this. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.